Welcome to episode seven of Sus with Sam, proudly brought to you by JME. On today's episode, we might have the cleanest touring 80 series in the country, and Hayden from HD Automotive to run us through it. Let's get into it. This man right here is the ultimate diesel tuna fish himself, Hayden, and also the owner of this immaculately clean 80 series. Mate, thanks for coming on this trip with us. We're on Morton Island, if you couldn't already guess from the background. Tell us about your car. What are we looking at? What is it? Year, etc. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having me on the trip, mate. mate Appreciate it's it. It's been fun. It is a good day today. So yeah, this uh, is the 1992 model 80 series. Bought it about two and a half, three years ago now. Bought it pretty well stocked, just had a roof rack on it. And that bull bar, yep. that's about it. Loves it. So yeah, just basically been building it ever since then to be a tourer that I can drive long distances and sort of tackle any sort yep. of tracks in the country. Yeah, and it does that well. There's also a little bit more to this 80 that meets the eye because it doesn't have the original HCT motor in the front of it anymore. It's got something a little bit spicier. And uh, well, it loves to rummage this thing. We've seen it in action here on Morton and it absolutely loves being fed. So I reckon we dive into it, mate. Like always, we'll start up the front, work our way through it because there's a lot to talk about in this Super Tourer. Sounds good, mate. Let's do it. Now there's a pretty easy recipe to follow when you're building an 80 series. White, wide, black bar work equals a staunch, tough Tourer. Hayden's is all business up the front and absolutely looks the part, mate. Well done on creating this thing, it looks sick. Tell us about what's going on on the business end of this car. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, look, it's a bull bar. Don't know what brand. <laughs> it is It is a bull bar, well done. But I was happy with it. It actually came yeah. on the car, so I left it on there. I just pulled it off and powder coated it yep. um, alongside doing these scrub rails and sliders. Yep. Uh, I used some roll cage joiners here, kept it nice and clean. Nice. Uh, a good mate of mine over at SMF Autofab put that yep. all together for me. Yep. Got the bull bar powder coated. Yeah, the roll bar joiners are a nice way of doing it, hey. I know yeah, real a couple subtle. of mobs down in Sydney can sell us and that are using them more and more and it, yep. it just keeps it so clean and tidy. That's it, man, yep. 100%. Big time. Uh, we've got the Rumva 13 XP winch. Yep. Um, she's a heavy girl, so. She is a heavy girl. We're gonna need the big dog up yep, there in absolutely. there, getting it done. Yep. Cheap set of spotties, just because I was going away on a trip one day and yep. sort of, you know. Mate, like all good uh, last minute <laughs> mods, you yeah. know, right? need to get by, need to get it on there. So a cheap set of spotties is better than none, that's for sure. Yeah, so they've just gone on, they haven't come off since. So yeah. maybe I'll upgrade those one day. How we'll good see. that? Maybe no. the next thing. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see, that's right. A good set of lights is, is always essential, but these aren't just the only lights, you've also got the light bar up on top. Yeah, I got the uh, light bar on the roof there, which sort of makes up for these. That's yeah. a good name brand, um, yep. light bar, so it, re it puts out a lot of light. Yeah, nice. These it's a good combo. We were things. following you uh, on the beach last night as we were coming into camp here on Morton, and the light, you know, between the LED headlights that were on the car when you got it, these and the light bar, like honestly, it was sort of night to day situation, which is yeah. makes it a pretty safe thing to drive behind. Obviously, GME have been longtime supporters of the channel, so it's great to see that you've got their 6.6 DBI whip. Yep. Uh, and that's obviously going to be hooked up to an XRS, I'm assuming, in the yep. car. XRS in the uh, cab there, in the roof yep. console, so yeah. that's great for trips like this. Yeah, nice. And then LED headlights are probably, you know, they were in the car when you got them, but a great yeah. addition to any 80 series. If you own an 80 and you don't have LED headlights, I don't know what you're doing because the standard lights are. So get, get onto it, absolutely get onto it. 
No, yeah. it's good. It's a staunch front end. I like everything you've done here. Yeah, thanks, um, man. Appreciate it. It's all very functional as well, which is nice to see as well. And protecting, protecting this incredibly clean body with the scrubbies and sliders as well is important. Yeah, you see a lot of bars these days on 80s. They sort of cut out this panel through here. Yeah, who would do that? <laughs> who would do that? <laughs> Don't not know anyone. Not me. Not you. <laughs> but yeah. I really do like the sort of older style bars on these cars. They're yeah. so tough. Like I've. I've hit that many things with this yeah. and it just lives yeah. to tell another story. And I love it. Yeah, absolutely. And then the big four inch radius fab snorkel, same as what I have on the Naughty 40. Yep. I'm assuming that's plumbed into their air box. Yep, the that's rubbed into the uh, on panel yep. filter air box. Yep. Nice. Yep. And then that's where the spicy stuff starts with this tough tourer under the bonnet. I reckon we pop it and show the people what we're talking about. Let's get it. Let's do it. In 1992, Mr. Toyota put a 1 HDT in the front of this car and that has since been put in the bin where HDTs belong. This is now an FT powered 315 horsepower weapon. And uh, the man that tuned it and sort of got it to where it is, is right here. Hayden, mate, tell us about everything. It wasn't always smooth sailing with the engine combos in this car. Yeah, so I bought it with uh, three crack pistons. Someone had done some uh, work on it, which they hadn't quite sort of, you know, done a good enough job on. Yep. So uh, I started off by rebuilding the engine essentially. So I pulled that out. Um, it found like, uh, number three, four, and five were all cracked. Love so that. Uh, just around the Ringland. So um, went for a new set of genuine Toyota FT pistons, yep. uh, ARP head studs, genuine head gasket, um, ACL race bearings. Put it all back together. Yep. Uh, that was about two years ago now, and 50, 60,000 Ks. And yeah, put the all the go fast bits on it. One of uh, HD's big pumps on it. Yep. Big injectors. Yep. Um, at the same time, did that radius uh, airbox, yeah. LS1 panel filter. Big four inch daddy. United Fuel Injection 21L Turbo. Yep. Um, actually, just recently changed it out for one of their new style ones, which has been okay. absolutely fantastic. Hot. Loving that. That's um, It makes yeah. heaps of power. Now, obviously, for those that might not be familiar with HD and HD Auto, you guys are like a, a diesel or just four wheel drive tuning shop. You do go fast bits for these sorts of things as well as tuning them. Yeah, we specialise in the 24 valves and 12 valves and yep. FTs, TD42s, yep. and then all your common rail diesels, the 1KDs, 4Js, yep. um, VDJs, 1, 1KDs, anything like that yep. that you know you can yep. tune, which they all can take a lot of you know performance increases just yeah. out of the box so yeah. we really tap into that yeah, and um, manufacture and sell a lot of products to suit the applications that we ourselves use these cars in yeah. you know this package that's on this car is something that is very commonly sold and purchased yeah. um, through HD and you know got a lot of happy people out there sort of running that 300 horsepower mark through their FT FTE yeah. absolutely reliably yeah. hold it flat all day just yeah. like this thing does you've yeah. seen the way this gets driven like it yeah reliable loves it held. Stays cool. yeah, yeah it's, absolutely it's, which is what you want. Big front mount intercooler to keep the big girl cool. Yeah, big front mount intercooler, which is something we knocked up at yep. the shop. Yep. Um, three inch exhaust, that's from Bow Desert. Yep. Um, I think it's important to remember with these, a lot of the genuine parts that uh, you know Toyota offers are the best for these. Like if people get caught up in the whole, I'm rebuilding it for, like to improve it, it's 300,000 Ks old and so on. They'll go and yep. buy a rebuild kit. Yep. It comes with Chinese pistons. Yeah, no. Yeah, if you're not gonna go something expensive and forged i think the yeah. next the best option is genuine because yeah. the, the cheap you know the cheap two thousand dollars for a, you know the full, full everything, everything you know bearings pistons rings head gaskets all that stuff that's just going to catch you out and, and chances are it's going to catch you out when you least want it to you'll probably be halfway to cape york on your dream trip so. we, we see it a lot unfortunately so. yeah so. Um, what else is going on in here uh, we've got, got, is it a big booster yeah i got a uh, pdi brake booster in yep. there um, obviously, like our 12 volt system sort of starts in the front here. We do have yep. a number of batteries in here. Yep. Um, got the ARB air locker compressor. Yep. Uh, that does like, you know, tires as well, but that runs both the front and rear air lockers. Hot. That's, a, that's an upgrade if you own a 79. Yeah, so I know, gas, gas trucks. trucks. <laughs> How an absolutely wild invention. Who would have thought to pay 100 grand and not have those? <laughs> uh, and that AGM here is obviously, because you've got lithium in the back of this, that AGM is only powering some bits and pieces. Is that right? Yeah, I sort of break it up into like, like necessities and then like Luxuries. party party luxury yeah. luxury yeah. Or pa yeah, party mode, yeah, party yeah. mode. Okay, cool. so, so that's powering that powers like the sound system which yeah. you can just open the doors and just crank it up when you're yep. camping that powers lights um any like uh charging accessories so like you know when the camera crew's charging like they were yeah. they had their all their gear, all, all their gear on it you know that that cool that's what's that going through that and then yep. i have the lithium set up in the back that runs your fridge and yeah Pretty much just the fridge at the moment, yeah. uh, and like cooking equipment and yeah. stuff like that. I do plan on increasing um, 
the sort of 12 volt accessories in this as I find I need them. I yep. try not to pile everything into the car and then yep. hope I use it. I sort yeah. of will go out on the trip and go, you know what? I wouldn't have, I would have really liked to do this yeah. differently next time. Yeah. So I'll change it and then sort of come back to yeah. it rather than just like assume I need all of it. At yeah. one, I think that's start. a good way to do it as well. <laughs> no point in putting you know, a ton worth of gear in the car and then find out you're not using any of it and it's just load, loading you down, so. Yeah. Mate, well done, it's tidy, it's nice. It looks like it came from factory with this thing in it, so. Mm, well done. Thank you. Let's uh, jump down the side, talk about rooftop tent, bits and pieces on the side of the car and then we'll show you guys the interior because it is clean. Trust me when I say it's clean, it is very clean. Well, nothing screams tough to it like a set of 35s and a good lift and suspension that really works and that's exactly what this 80 series has. Tell us what you've done. I uh, put a set of Nitto Trail Grapplers Mud Train in a 315-75-16 on just a steel rim. Uh, I'd love to go a set of alloys, yep. some beadlock alloys, but yep. I'll probably do it when I go the next set of tyres, yeah. not in any rush, you know. Yeah, um, yeah well that's basically for the tyres, like got five of those all around, just carry one spare. Yeah, um, probably all you need really. Yeah, yeah, so. You wouldn't that's... have to deal with many punctures, I doubt. Oh, you never know. That's true. You got a puncture kit inside? Just carry extra beers. Yeah, true. That's I'll it. Just sit there till someone shows up. Yeah. I'm just waiting for a mate. You can give some big flat tires just a few beers <laughs> away from being dealt with. Upgraded brakes? Yeah, so actually, not necessarily upgraded, but late model brakes. Okay. Um, being an early model, it does come with a smaller disc okay. and uh, caliper, so I just yep. put the bigger disc and the yeah, bigger yeah. caliper and the, yeah, the same pads, I believe, yep. but um, change those over just to help the braking performance. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's still not like. You know, it's not a race car. Yeah, but but that big booster plus that probably helps this thing. It stop. just gets it back to a level that's probably acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially if we're going from a 200 horsepower DT to a 315 horsepower FT, yeah. it probably needs a little bit of attention. I think that's probably one thing that you guys out there forget a lot is it's all well and good to load the car up with heaps of accessories and give it heaps of power and that kind of thing. But if you leave the braking alone, you'll probably run up the back of someone in a, in a bad way. So yeah. it's always good to think about that stuff. Did some braided lines as well. Yeah, nice. Um, just because the last thing you want is like to actually, and I have had it happen yeah. in other cars, like put your foot down, it's like, oh, we're going all the yeah, way. Because yeah, the line's popped or you something. You know? pressure, yeah, exactly right. Uh, just Ace and Hubs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, had, I have had other brands on there, just like, I haven't broken any necessarily, but just the design of some others where you actually have like those cap head bolts and, yeah. you, and to get to, yeah, yeah. they all strip out. Yeah, they go one with their and, like, yeah. you know, T4 torques yeah. or whatever. And just, yeah. I've had to anger grind them off. And yeah. so I go with those and I give this thing a hard time and yeah. these have had Love no it. issues at all. So yeah. no, that's good. Uh, as far as suspension goes, um, haven't, I've kind of kept it like simple. Yeah. I, I had another 80 before this, uh, it was a Sahara. And you just got to say that if you have a Sahara, nah, you have yeah. to say it, it was yeah, a Sahara. That's right, yeah. like vegans. How do you know if someone's got a Sahara Land Cruiser? Don't worry, they'll tell you. It's that. a Sahara. Yeah. Um, and that had it all. That had like your Fox Remote Red shocks that yep. had spent a lot of time thinking about the springs and yep. just spent a lot of too much time thinking I was making it a comp truck. I wasn't ever quite satisfied yeah. with how it was. And then when I picked this thing up, it already had these Bilstein shocks in it yep. and these springs in it. Yep. And I couldn't believe how well it rode. So I was like, I'll just leave it. Yeah. Like, I'll, yeah. I'll just leave it. I'd have put a set of um, Bud's Customs arms in yeah, the front of it, arms, yep. uh, as well as I put a little coil spacer because I was happy with the rate and the way these springs carried the weight. Yep. I just wanted a little bit more height, height. in the front, yep. which is just another inch, you know? Yep. Well, we could um, use one. Yeah. <laughs> or two. Yeah, true. <laughs> or three. I don't know. There's no real limit. But uh, no, 100%. And it sits really nicely and it's nice and level as well, which I yeah. love. Like, Nothing worse than a nose down Land Cruiser where the arse is four inches high and the front's all low and disgusting. Uh, obviously the cast is taken care of in those buds arms. It also pushes the diff further forward, 15 okay, mil. Cool. Um, one other thing which I overlooked for a very long time, which I'm glad I did and highly yep. recommend to anyone who's got a bit of weight in their Cruiser, um, it's the heavy duty sway bars. Okay. So I haven't been limited off-road by those at all, maybe yep. because I've got the weight to support it, yep. but it changed the car. Yeah, like, okay. I started with the front by accident because yeah. I... I I wanted to go to the rear first. Yeah. We accidentally ordered the front first. Yeah, happens, whatever. Happens. Popped it in. Yeah. Was that happy with it? Really? Did the rear and it just sort of like rounded it all off. Yeah. And it was um I've been so impressed with it. It's allowed yeah. me to actually like love driving the car around town again, yeah. getting rid of all that body roll. Less boatiness. Yeah, yeah. It makes it feel like you can actually handle the sort of corners I yeah. throw at it and that. Yeah. So none of this GU three wheel and round roundabouts business. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, keep it, <laughs> keep it stable, keep it firm. Nah, no, that's sick. 
And it drives really nicely too, just being on the beach, on the road, like it pulls, it handles, it steers, it stops. Like, you can give it a really hard time and yeah. it, you can trust it and it's it's it self-corrects really easily. Yeah. It, it, it holds straight when you want it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. As far as like suspension goes as well, steering, um, I've got all chromoly steering arms there okay. as well. They're from yeah. PSR. Yep. Um, yeah, just bent a couple just yeah. off road, yeah. you do that. So upgraded those straight away. Yeah. Still 80 series steering box? I left it 80 series steering box. I did a GU in my other 80 and yeah. um, I, I just know. don't think I'm gonna, that needs it. Yeah, that yeah. needs it. Yeah, that definitely needs it. <laughs> this one, I don't know if I'm gonna give it the same sort of hard time that one gets, yeah. so. Yeah. Have you braced the chassis around the steering box? And haven't that? yet. Ha yeah, okay, interesting. Haven't had the time. Yeah, okay. Too busy doing everyone else's. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's it a bit like that sometimes, okay. Well, you can keep that in the back of your mind. But, uh, how good. Let's jump up and talk about the side of the car real quick, because there's a bit of Super Tourer gear going on there as well. No Super Tourer is complete without a set of tow mirrors, but Unlike 90% of you guys out there, this actually does tow from time to time. You got a couple of skis that you drag behind it. Yeah, mate, definitely need this for the skis. Yeah, yeah. Big time, <laughs> yeah really big hard time. to see past those. <laughs> nah, it's mostly for the car trailer. Yeah. I'm towing one of the cars that like track or something yeah. like that. Um, I've never extended them. I've never found the need. In fact, yeah. I'd probably consider cutting them down if yeah. I could. But yeah. Um, yeah, no, they're good. They're just a pair of OCAM. Um, yeah. I had the like the knockoff Clearview ones on there, yeah. and I just didn't like the way that they like sort of. Yeah, yeah. This, these are half on there because the 80 series mirrors are just so junk. Yeah, they are dog crap. Yeah, it's just, they shake. I've, I've never seen a mirror with the lens that doesn't shake or wobble and then eventually fall off. Yeah. And you also can't see anything past the car. Even if you've got a rear bar on the car with a bit of tire like you have, yeah. that's basically all your vision gone. So it is a good thing to have. Yeah, plus having the rear view eliminated just with the yeah. uh, rear setup, like it's literally just to see out the back. Yeah. You know, so. Went with them, they're a little bit ugly, I reckon, in terms of, I like an 80 with normal mirrors, yeah. but. Yeah. Sometimes it is function over form. Mm. That's, that's what this They is. probably cost me a litre of 100 as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Big aero issues here and that kind of thing. At least my drama spot. Yeah. Uh, drifter awning from our friend Kaido. Yeah, I got the drifter Stockton awning on there. Yeah. I think it's the, are they the 1.4, 1.2, I don't really remember. Something but like that, it's great. That That's like genuinely, I can sit under that all day. You don't get sunburned. Yeah. That's um, nice. I really like respect it. I've had cheap yeah. awnings, and you just want to—you don't even care if they blow off in the yeah, wind. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> that one, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. I'm really, really nice. happy with it. Yeah. And also, like the black bag. I know it's like, I don't know, it might be a bit wankery, but like some of the awnings that have those, you know, they've got sand-colored bags or brown or grey, and this is like when you're building a car with this very specific theme in mind, it's nice to have a, a, a matching black bag. And then up on it, top. It hasn't faded at all, by the way. Yeah, okay. So that's it's been on there for a while. It's been on there for a long time. Yeah, the, right. the black is still as black. Like with that material, you can yeah. often see it fade. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's stayed the same color. Well done, boys. Um, yeah, mo top on top. Uh, yeah. 1.2, okay. just a 1.2. Uh, yeah. 120, I think they are yeah. called. Yeah. Um, but I keep the bedding in there as well. Okay. Uh, loves it. I'm really happy with that. Yeah. Um, like you've been comfortable this entire trip. It's just like life of luxury up there. You know, you can get the cross flow, you get the breeze, comfy. We've had some torrential rain on this trip as well. Did we? Yeah, you wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> with your hard top clamshell situation. But uh, me down in the lowly swag, I definitely knew about it. But um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I like that you went the 1.2 as well because I think the 1.4s or even some of them are 1.5 meters wide where they overhang either side of the roof of an 80 or a 76, it just looks trash. You got the 120 plus as well, which yeah. are they're like, they're another, I think 50 or 30 mil taller. Yeah, okay. It just starts to get too, too much. much. Yeah. It just, you just, I just want it, yeah. the bare this minimum. Yeah, nice and streamlined. Mounted on that steel, that, uh, you know, that platform rack as well. I mean, so you can mount all your gear on it. You've got the light bar hidden under it. I think it's, I think it's a super sick little setup. And then solar on top, feeding all the gear. Yeah, I don't know how big that panel is. It's just big enough, just, I guess, just but there. It, 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 it's, it's Motop do brackets for it, which I was very, I didn't, yeah. I was very impressed by that when I first saw a customer's vehicle come into the shop with it and I was yeah. like, I've got to have that. Yeah, that is awesome. Selfie. Like, you know, yeah. just actually just getting it on there, you know, yeah. no drilling, nothing like that. Big time. Uh, so yeah, really happy with that. Just Anderson plug running that. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as the outside goes as well, we've got the mirrors, Yeah. little visors. You, yeah, you know, it's your first mod you ever do to a car. Big time, straight on bucks. eBay, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> and then window tin as well, keep the sun out. Yeah, yeah it's good. No, it, it looks good. Looks very nice. Well, let's jump inside because the inside is super clean, super comfortable. We get out of the wind and the sun, so that'll be good for us as well. Let's do it. When it comes to the inside of 80 Series, they don't get much better than this. It's comfortable, it's functional. Everything you could need is at arm's reach and it is done super cleanly, mate. Well done. 
run us through everything because there's a lot going on in here. Yeah, there is a bit, but there's also not a lot in my opinion. Yeah, you see some cars it's like clean, they sort nice. of have everything hanging off the yeah. windscreen and you know, there's always a lot on. 10 of everything. Yeah. Uh, I try to keep it just simple. Yeah. Um, so I just got a head unit that just has CarPlay and then some absolutely banging speakers. Loves um, it, the Sony explodes. Slap. People, yeah. It's a controversial topic, speakers. You need tunes. I just know if I turn it all the way up, I'll probably go deaf, so it's yeah, about that's what you want. I need. Yeah. Um, Rip the center console out of a later model so it doesn't quite match up perfectly, but it's better than not having one. True. Um, Mullet Mods cup holder, sick little feature. 3D printed dog. Yep. Everyone, um, everyone knows 80 series have negative four cup holders, so yeah. any you can add in is, is a good a good addition. That's perfect. Uh, I've got this center console here, just because in an, the one drawback to an 80s interior is you can't put your yeah, arm anywhere. It's, arm. You know, and, yeah. and then people put fridges in and then it's like, yeah, you drive along and you can't change. Yeah. It's all going on. So I actually found this in Japan. Uh, the Japanese models came out with this slightly yeah. higher set uh, console and it's like got double storage like that. Yeah, nice. So um, it just helps out. Plus I do have the armrest on the on the, on the the seat here. On the big Stratos. Which I guess I can touch in. Just got the little light truck suspension seats that she, she's good for. So it. good. Yeah, it's Makes like, such a difference, hey. When you're giving it, a, giving it a hard time and you're just yeah. sort of bouncing around, it, it does um, does help out. Yeah, big time. Um, roof console. Yeah, got the roof console. I keep just small things up in here. Lots of storage. XRS um, Connect is good to see. Lights. Yeah. A good radio is so important, I think. Especially like on trips like we've been doing today where people can, can and have gotten separated on inland tracks, having a good good radio, a good comms, good aerial, all, all partnered up is very, very important. Um, Got gauges. Um, these gauges, we actually did a little bit of product testing for the company who made them. And um, I was so happy with them, obviously I just left them in. Um, I highly recommend these. Yeah. They, these are. They're technically one of the cheapest gauges available on the market. Okay. Um, so like it's a Boost and EGT. Yep. And it's about 140 bucks. It's never let me down. And I've done dyno testing comparing yep. that versus what my dyno reads. Yeah. And if the dyno reads it, it's correct and that matches. I'm happy with that. Same with the yep. water temp. So yep. EGT, Boost, water temp, just in a little pillar pod. Nice. Um, yeah, I got my locker switches up here. So wow. this little portable freezer fridge. Gauge, gauge just so to, you know exactly what's going on. Just to check at yep. the exact moment when my beers smash open and Explode, shatter everywhere. Yeah. yeah, that's what you want to know as well. Um, While we're in here, I don't think we touched on it when we were in the engine bay. Clutch. Oh yeah. Heavy duty? Yeah, MPC 1300. Okay, cool. Probably um, needs all of that 1300 too. It loves it. They're a great clutch. Like yeah. it's, a, it's the lightest factory. Yeah. You know, like I couldn't believe it. When we put the one in the Naughty 40, mm. like, it felt like the clutch wasn't even hooked up to the pedal. It was so light. So yeah. James and the team there, well done. <laughs> you've, you've done God's work with those clutches and I'm excited to get the uh, spicy one for the new motor happening soon but no it's good it's sort of it's everything you need but without cluttering the, you know, I hate, cluttering the space i've got an actual pet peeve uh things rattling yeah i, I can't okay. nothing can rattle yeah so if it rattles like yeah i don't delete, want it to leave the world i'd rather just not have it yeah so fair. i try and keep that's why i try and keep it very minimal in here in terms of far as as far as accessories go yeah. i don't want things banging around when we're off-road i just want to just Get into it. Yeah, big time. <laughs> and fire extinguisher as well, mounted nice and easy is very yeah. important too for those people playing along at home. If you haven't had a car catch on fire on a trip, it will eventually happen to you. Having a fire extinguisher at arm's reach is super important for everyone's safety. So, well done. Anything done really in the back or just stock seaty boys? Uh, back's just stock seats. Yeah. Um, All of my crap. Yeah. We got the cage back there, but we'll go into that later yeah, on. Kind of got the area. handbrake at full extension because 80 series light. Yeah, it's probably still not doing it. Was about, it was about at sort of three o'clock before. Now it's getting closer to yeah. sort of one o'clock. So three days on the sand. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the end of today, it'll be rid. It might be at 12 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, that's right. How yeah, good. Mate, well done in here. Love it. I reckon we jump to the back where the, uh, the Super Tour gear starts to really shine. Sounds good, cool, mate. Let's do it. Super Tour all right, this is a good gear. We'll get it all down. How good? So in here, we got, um, starting off with the 12 volt system. Yep. Up the back, I have the Enerdrive 3DC power charger. Yep. Okay, so that's a 50, a 40 amp charger. That runs the AGM and the lithium. Yep. And obviously the solar as well. Yep. So, um, yeah, so that's fantastic. Uh, I've got the inverter as well next to it, which yeah. gives us like, you know, that little bit of power just yeah. to have available. The camera crew have been very thankful for that this trip, so that's good. Mm. Uh, it's helped charge 
batteries, laptops, phones, drones. Everything. Absolutely everything. Been frothing it. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Um, what else we got? Massive sub. Got a bit of a sub because, yeah, like, yeah. what's the point of not having good music? Yeah, it's true. If you, especially if you're pumping out big Ks, like, you just yeah. did a, what, a massive trip to Airlie just before this Morton trip. So. Yeah, I went up all the way north, so it's like 2,400 Ks yeah. total, something like that, yeah. like, just smashing it out. Yeah, I so think you it want was that music. big. So. Yeah, so yeah. You, you don't want to go on here without that. Good time. Uh, I got the Black Widow drawers. I yeah. rate these so highly. Yeah. Uh, I've never heard of the company before. I sort of like found these, and they're yeah. just good. They're just good. They, they don't work. rattle. Uh, they work so well. Nice. Uh, what I've got in here, this is just sort of like uh, stuff you need. Yeah. <laughs> it's got tools, chopping boards, yeah. air up. compressor hose, yeah. another fire extinguisher, yeah. just some lighting, uh, yeah. fire starters, little yeah. drifter fold-up table, yeah. lights. Um, Probably more stuff in there than I even know, yeah. but that's sort of you like bring it along with you. You're gonna need it. Yeah. Uh, draw. Nice. In this one. Over that one. Currently got a jumper in there, but you take that oh, out. That's please. cooking and food, yeah. so it's got an assortment of um, yeah, cutlery, salt, pepper. Yeah. yeah. Get into it. Yeah. Rip into it. Nice. Um, that's good. A little bit of cleaning. Yeah. A little trip, bit of coffee. This trip I've been without rear drawers, and it's really hurt me. You miss them, emotionally. Mate. Yeah. yeah you don't them. know what you got till it's gone. Uh, it's just a naughty 40 in general, but also just having like an organised rear section, you know, living out of Woolies bags does make life quite difficult. So, um, it's, 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 it's very impressive how cool this stays as well. Yeah. Like I've left, for example, like a chocolate bar in it or something yeah. on a trip and come back six weeks later. It's not melted at yeah, all. So it's, it, it's obviously pretty well insulated. Yeah. You know, so. yeah, it feels sturdy as as well, which is good. Yeah, it I like it a lot. Right off there, so. Here she goes. How good. Uh, this one. MSA I've, dog. Yeah, I've got the lateral sort of tied up. Yeah, if you want to yeah. pull it down, we can pull that out. Yeah, MSA drop down fridge slide. Yeah. Um, and just a 60 litre Adventure Kings yeah. slash Waco when yeah, they were yeah. still thing. Old dramatic dog. But that is broken as hell, so yeah. we're going to replace that. I'm going to redo is. this whole setup with probably like an upright and yeah. uh, mount some things differently yeah. just so it's like makes better use of the room because I feel like this is quite an ineffective way of doing it. Yeah, it know? is hard to. It's a massive fridge slide as well. Like you could probably fit a way bigger fridge on here than you do. Yep. It takes up a lot of space. It's hard, especially with the oven sort of mounted there as well. You don't have a lot of usable storage space because yep. of how it's all laid out, I suppose. This, this is something I often spend a lot of time thinking about. Yep. I often wonder like how much more you can improve this area in a yep. wagon. Um, it's something that really I do honestly think about it and wish I personally had a little bit more creativity in yep. how to improve this rear end. Yep. Um, but yeah, we've just got that board, obviously, with the uh, yeah. cargo barrier there cargo as well. Barrier, yeah. I planned to mount more things to that, but we haven't yeah. haven't done anything yet. Yeah. Uh, lithium is located under here. There okay. is a 135 amp hour lithium battery under there. Yeah. And then same deal on the other side. I've just got tools, power tools, yeah, um, anything I need to, yeah. say, fix a wheel bearing on the side of the road, which I've never had to do before. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> well, help a mate out when it's 105 wheel bearing collapses on Fraser. <laughs> so. No, nah, it's good. No, it's a super sick setup. You've had everything that I haven't had on this trip, which has made me very jealous. Yeah, and um, you know, having the 12 volt and all that to sort of back up the setup has made it like, very easy for me and the camera crew, so I appreciate that. That's all right. And uh, no, nah, man, what a rig. I think uh, just about everything. Is there anything we should know or talk about with the rear suspension in this thing, or is it all pretty basic? It's pretty basic. It's just got chrome molly, um, like PSR, lower control arms. Yeah. They just come with, it's, it's nearly the same price as replacing the bushes. Yep. So I just, when I came to replacing the bushes, I just replaced the arms. Yep. Uh, stock uppers, don't have enough lift to really roll that diff around at yep. all to correct anything there. Yep. Uh, adjustable pan hard, set of king springs, Bilstein yep. shocks, that's ARB air locker, yep. leaker, I mean. Um, that's really it. That's it. Yeah, and no. just the two standard tanks. Two still. standard tanks. Yep. I'm, I'm going to put a bigger rear tank in yep. it, I think. Maybe yep. like I've heard people put Prado rear tanks in. Yeah, yeah. Especially, Especially if you've got the spare tire mounted up here, you don't need that yeah. space under there. You might as well chuck a bit more in there. Yeah, so probably get like a 90 litre Prado tank in there, something like that. Yeah. Um, how good. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot more to touch on but the rear. It's simple, it's, it works, yeah, it's effective, it's, and you've been able to live out of this for weeks at a time before, so it obviously works for you as well. Gets it done. Yeah, how good. Well, let's jump up the front. We'll think about anything we've forgotten about and uh, wrap it up and get out of this cyclone wind. Well, guys, that's episode seven of Sus with Sam, Australia's cleanest, toughest tourer. But I have a question for you guys and I need you to comment below. If you could change something about Hayden's rig or just had some inspiration for more modifications that this man can do, drop them below because he wants to hear them.
Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe, comment, give us a like. We'll see you soon. Cheers.